Can I put this here? Amazing. Yesterday was a hand show and it was incredible. There were two firsts. When we started playing Dance Alone, everybody sang so loud, I couldn't hear myself. I couldn't hear if I was singing it right. So I just stopped singing and let the crowd sing it. And it was dead silent when I was playing, I'm sorry. I feel like no one was even breathing. It was incredible. So right now, it's Wednesday, almost 10 a.m. We're leaving for Paris today. Just packed the bags, we just had breakfast. I actually have no idea where Ruben is. If this is touring, I can get used to it. Oh, before we leave, let me show you the hotel room because it's a good one. Start at the door, bam. We have two big beds. And let me tell you something, they were incredible. We slept like babies. Bathroom, cozy. Great, and check this out, the shower is actually high enough for me. This is like a miracle. <gasps> I can stand another shower. This hotel is already better than 90% of hotels. <laughs> Little view of the sky. Partially blue skies, partially big smiles. Found Ruben. Good morning. Good morning. When we dance like old coffee, nice. Okay, so we just arrived at the venue in Paris, and uh, we're getting everything out of the bus. Looks like this. Let's get to work. <laughs> this venue is so cool. We'll probably play around 8 tonight. It's currently 2 p.m. But there are already people outside, so I just want to say hi. Guys, I'm, I'm making a vlog, so I wanted to put you guys in there. Hello! We're here by 10. 10? <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> 2.30 p.m. I think in about an hour we're gonna start sound check. We had a good trip. The last 10 minutes we got stuck in traffic in Paris and I had to go to the bathroom so bad that I jumped out of the van and ran into a random restaurant and then walked to the venue. We're so ahead of schedule that it's gonna be a lot of waiting I think. Maybe we're gonna get something to eat. I can feel my voice is a little bit tired from yesterday so I'm nervous to find out how it will go tonight because this is actually the first time I'm on tour and I'm playing like every night so I'm like drinking tea. I'm like bubbling to warm up my voice and stuff like that. We'll see how it goes. And we dream about forever, maybe ever for a while If we run together we can make it through the night Kiss the bittersweetness of your lips I don't wanna stop when we dance like this Take like it's forever and we'll live it for a while So how do you prepare for a show? I warm up 8.30 p.m. We're in London right now, about to play the show. I think I have 20 minutes left. Today is the, I think, hardest day so far because my voice is actually acting up. I'm not sure if it's just be tired because of the singing. We all tested, nothing COVID-like, but I feel like maybe it's a, a throat thing or I'm just like getting a cold and this is like the heads up for my buddy. Hey dude, you're getting a cold. I'm having trouble getting the high notes. I'm bubbling. This is like warming up my voice. <laughs> this is a Red Bull cup, but there's tea in there with the ginger, lemon, and honey. I'm doing everything I can to sing well. But this is new for me. I've never experienced something like this before. My voice has been acting up the whole day, so I didn't really feel like vlogging. I'm gonna go on stage in 20 minutes, and uh, the crowd seems really energetic and happy, so I think we'll do just fine. It's me from the future. A lot has happened. Remember me talking about my throat? Turned out I was getting sick. No COVID luckily. After the London show, we had to go to Dublin. And to be there on time, we had to drive through the night to catch a boat. And let me tell you, if you're not feeling well and you're singing every night and you have to drive through the night, which basically means getting little to no sleep, it's not gonna do wonders for your voice. When we arrived in Dublin, my voice was gone. I could talk like this. I couldn't sing. I couldn't get the notes. To be honest, I was freaking out. This show was postponed four times already. So I was like, I'm not gonna cancel this. We arrived. I'm thinking, and it will all be magically fine tonight. One hour till showtime. I'm like, I'm just gonna take my guitar, go to a hallway and force myself to sing. But after like five minutes of trying, it became very clear to me, my voice was gone. I wasn't gonna be able to sing that night. I've waited two years to play the show and I finally get there and I get sick. I mean, so I did what I thought was the best solution. I went on stage with a cup of ginger tea. But before we start, I have something to get on my chest. Maybe you hear it already, but my voice is gone. And I'm so sorry, but we came all the way here, so we're definitely not 
gonna cancel the show, but you are gonna have to help me sing the lyrics. And I feel like I made the best out of it now. I love the energy I got from you guys. So let's rate touring. Touring, 10 out of 10. Getting sick on tour, not so much fun. Looking forward to next tour. Hell yeah. So on to other news. I'm at home right now. And I got something really exciting. So because I released an album, I wanted to put it on vinyl. And this is the test pressing. Let's check it out. This is the first time I'm hearing this on vinyl. <sighs> Fresh vinyl. Let's turn this bad boy on. <laughs> It's so cool to like make something which is a file on your computer and then now it's on this. By the time you're watching this video, I think you can pre-order it already. There's a link in my bio. The album title is Nothing Lasts Forever and That's Okay. And that's also true for vinyls. <laughs> so be quick before they sell out. This is all possible because of you guys. I hope you like the album and I hope you will like it on vinyl. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time with another video. Bye-bye.